ang awit ng Pilipinas. Good afternoon, CCS. Welcome to the school year's freshman oral assembly. This is Melody Maluya, your MC for today's program. It's a pleasant afternoon that we have today, and we hope you guys are doing fine out there, especially our freshies. It's orientation time of the year again, but this time we're doing it virtually. So, how are you guys? Kumusta? Kumusta? Kaya ba? Yes, we know this new learning environment could be a lot to take in and it's not easy for everyone mentally, psychologically, and financially. Well, speaking of that, don't hesitate to reach us out if you are struggling because our officers are willing to help you in any way they can. In fact, our JIT Society has been campaigning their PISOMO Future Co. program which I believe the nations already amounted to 5,000 plus already and this is such good news. Thank you so much for all those who donated. That's just one of the plans of our college so stay tuned and listen to this orientation because our officers as well as the faculty have prepared so much for you guys. Hopefully once everything is in place and it's safe enough for us to resume our regular classes then we'll be able to take our freshies for a campus tour but for now let's settle for a virtual tour you can look up the FB page of Kasama, Silahis and even respective colleges which I believe they posted montages so to give you more insight about the College of Computer Studies help me welcome our very own college dean Dr. Rabbi Lavilius for his opening remarks and inspirational message sir To the Student Executive Council of the College of Computer Studies, I am thankful for initiating this activity and for giving us the opportunity to meet online and share our experiences in facing this historic challenge of pandemic. On behalf of the College of Computer Studies, I welcome you all to this virtual gathering. This is one of the youngest colleges in Australia. In fact, we became officially a college last March 2019. And we are offering four specific programs and graduate, including computer science, information technology, information systems, and computer applications, which is electronics and computer technology before. The college was created last 2002 from uh, three the major college and school, the College of Business Administration, College of Engineering, and School of Engineering Technology. They were formed to create the School of Computer Studies, which produces a graduate last 2003. The current pandemic has put studying at CCS at the forefront of the majority of present activities. The importance of studying the complexities of computers is timely because everyone is working on it now. From delivery of learning to basic transactions like shopping, social interaction, and almost all medium of our everyday activity has somehow involved the use of computer technology. Before the pandemic, ICT at CCS is a common need, but the pandemic ICT will be a necessity for students. It might be unfair for some, but to be in the College of Computer Studies forced you to embrace ICT 
in all groups. What we expect this in this computer studies. Somehow, anyway, you will develop a culture of learning under this package. When outcomes based education was introduced at TCS, we are not surprised at all because learning a computer language or designing and developing apps is actually based on the outcome. To graduate is not only about GPA or grades, but it is also about what you for design. For instance, what website or device or game have you designed and developed? This artifact can be used as a direct evidence of learning. In fact, for me, this is equally or more important than learning. As a student of IIT before and currently a teacher, let me share with you a student as well. Yes. CCS currently uses a wall as an animal representation of the college in sports or extracurricular activities in my life. Let me use this analogy why we should also learn how the world hunt and how we actually learn. Primarily, wolves detect prey during hunting through scent, chance encounters, and chase through traps. For us to easily remember this, the reverse of CCS as an acronym. CSCC, which means SEM for S, chance encounter for C, and chasing traps for another C. Let me start with SEM. For us, this means ability to recognize the potential beauty and significance of your course. At the start, you may not appreciate the purpose of your degree, but when you know your role in the field of computers or organization, it will trigger your senses and enable you to allow yourself to explore and discover more rather than be guided by someone else. During my enrollment in IIT, I want to enroll in accountancy department. However, I was in the waiting list, unlike BSEA information systems before, they reserved me a staff. So I accepted it. Then I planned to shift during my second year. However, after learning the role of information systems and organization, I decided not to shift. That means I was able to recognize the fragrance of my course. Second, chance encounters. With a lot of courses or subjects you are in, you are to take, any one of them can open your interest. That means opportunities that trigger you to discover yourself to learn is not usually planned. It in you can find it in events, groups or in a short seminar. Chance encounters are your chances to grab opportunities in your field. For instance, it might be joining a technical group or joining a contest or even sports events where you can share with your customers. Last, a chasing tracks. Once you decided to focus on one thing, trace the progress of that particular area. There is a need to focus on a certain field of interest where you need to know. But chasing must not also be only chasing. You, want, you need also to take chances and opportunities. That means opportunities within the area of the particular technology. After identifying a specific technology to track, you have to learn how to learn. This is how technology is being developed. You also need to learn in your own. But you can for people working in the field to learn more, the expertise, the expertise of the person or your faculty member. However, learning by practicing it in your own way is the recommended strategy to master a certain technology. Lastly, with the challenges of pandemic, I understand that we have encountered a lot of problems, issues, and personal struggles. As the Dean of CCS, I am urging you to address your concern to proper authorities and someone who can potentially address you. Avoid using social media to express your dismay or problem. We already created CCS hotline for you to send your concern or even IIT. You can go to your advisor, the student executive council, the department chairperson, or your department chairperson. They are, they are present to listen to your concerns. Please do not hesitate also to reach the office of the Dean 
through its, especially through its email. Once again, welcome and thank you to be part of WALS or CCS. I welcome you once again to CCS, especially the free ship CCS. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rabi. Your warm message was just what the students needed as a motivation. Now, Freshies, unsa man ang mga kursong na inyong take up dito sa CCS? Freshies present in this orientation, please comment down your courses. I'm sure either of you are information technology, information systems, computer science, or computer applications. Nevertheless, I believe it is important for you to get to know the chairpersons of your respective departments because chances are masuki ka sa office nila of course unless if mo shift ka so ladies and gentlemen let us hear from miss adlaon of computer applications department miss tabana of computer science department and miss katindig of the information technology department ma'am a pleasant good afternoon everyone I am Nerissa R. Adlaon, the Department Chairperson and currently the Computer Application Society Advisor. Due to this global pandemic, this culture is a unique one. It was posted on the social media that Computer Application Department is open to students with a score 60 up. Many responded, but yet, therefore, I warmly welcome you all freshmen. The department was an evolution of a two-year program of electronics engineering technology. It was later raised to BSACT, a four-year course and later on renamed as BSCA. It has two majors, namely Embedded System and Internet of Things. You are the third batch. We all know the faculty as well as you is adjusting to the current situation of online learning. Is one is trying her best that lessons be imparted and understood. I know everyone has dreamed to have a good life, that is why you try your best. But you must know that life is a sacrifice. A good life is more sacrifices. Having a chance to be in this institute, katuwang na ang more sacrifices. Gawing tama ang pag-aaral. A Filipino mindset, mag-aral ng mabuti para may trabaho. A Chinese mindset, mag-aral ng mabuti para may negosyo. The common denominator is, mag-aral ng mabuti. Whatever you choose, ikaw na ang bahala. Given a chance to study, study to change your life. To all second year and third year students, welcome back.
the walls of the College of Computer Studies. Shout out to the computer science students, most especially to our freshies. Welcome to IIT. The coronavirus has definitely changed a lot of our lives, including our academic lives. But life must go on. We have to keep on learning. We humans are the most intelligent beings in this world. And so I believe we will eventually outsmart this virus. Let us not live in fear and dwell in too much worrying. Because according to Irma Bombeck, worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but never gets you anywhere. According to Baloo of the Disney's Jungle Book, what you need are bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. The bare necessities of life will come to you. What this pandemic has taught us is that we can all live a simple life. It has taught us to love nature. Uso kayo ang gardening, farming, diba? And it has also taught us to slow down. It's okay to slow down. And realize that life is the most precious thing in the world. So, show some love and care to everyone around you. For now, let us do our part in following the health protocols set by the government as a way of showing love and care to everyone around us. So, everyone keep calm and carry on. This too shall pass. Happy Fiesta sa mga tagailigan and Viva Senor San Miguel.
Thank you, Mom Risa, Mom Emily, and Mom Nia for sharing your time and knowledge with us today. Guys, these are the people behind your screens working on a lot of modules, to learning how to tweak Google Meet, and even having countless virtual meetings just to be able to deliver an online module for us. And we know it's not easy. That's why we are grateful for the time and effort to be able to push through learning despite this pandemic. Well, that's for our teachers. But if we're going to talk about leading a set of 30 student officers of the CCS Executive Council plus societies working hard virtually during a pandemic situation, then ladies and gentlemen, help me with my own governor, Governor Rochelle Madolara. Gov? Are you tired? Feeling down? Or feel like giving up? Take heart. We have someone greater than all these challenges. We have our creator, blessing God, the Lord. The Lord gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Hi, I am Rochelle F. Madalora, and I am honored to be appointed as Governor of College of Computer Studies for this academic year 2020. 2021. The challenges of COVID-19 may seem unnerving, yet it can be an opportunity for growth and positive changes. May we strive to be hopeful, courageous, and resilient despite the adversities we have to face. Let us draw strength from each other as we pray for healing around the world. Every day is a blessing, and we should not forget to thank God for it. In this time of crisis, we need to strengthen our faith in Him and believe that this will be soon over. There is no such a thing as too much praying after all, for He can get us through this pandemic. I would like to thank all my co-officers for giving me this opportunity to be the college governor for this academic year. Being a leader is definitely not easy, but we are ready to put in the work and effort to lead and make a positive change in our college. If you have complaints, questions, or concerns, please do not hesitate to message me or in CCS Executive Council page. And so in conclusion, I say, welcome everyone, especially the freshies, to the Dakilang Pamantasan and to the College of Computer Studies. You have made it to an amazing place. Don't miss a single opportunity to learn from every single aspect of life and for everyone you meet. If there is one thing that I have learned at the Kilang Pamantasan and to the College of Computer Studies, it's that I have a lot more to learn. As a pack, we will continue to protect, guide, and reach with no wolf getting left behind. As they say, the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Continue to strive harder and make sure to have fun. Amping Kanunay, Paghut Hawud. Thank you, Governor Rochelle, for your message of motivation. We are grateful for your guidance and leadership on us on these trying times. At this point of our program, let me introduce to you the set of the College of Computer Studies Executive Council Officers, starting with Governor Rochelle Madalara, Vice Governor Noran Usman, Executive Secretary Sharon Sia, advised by Professor Januari Febro. Some of the covered committees that you can see on your screens right now, such as the publication, documentation, the student and welfare services, are actually now part of the covered committees running the online activities that we have here in FB as well as in Kasama. The rest of the committees, such as the literary, sports and developments, the ethics and grievance, are actually tasked to be under MSU IIT's Palakasan as well as the CCS Pasandayag. However, we won't be having those this year, so they have been redesignated by our governor. As for our societies, we have the Junior Information Technology and Systems Society, Computer Application Society, and the Computer Science Society, and you are one of their responsibilities. So now let us hear the message of our mayors. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mr. Jaro of JITS, Mr. Navarro of Computer Science Society, and Ms. Petira of the Computer Application Society. What's up guys? Welcome to our Freshest Orientation 2020. I am Amboy Haro, your mayor for the Junior Information Technology Society, which comprises of all BSIS and BSIT students. So shout out there to all IT and IS freshies. Welcome to the JITS family. 
Welcome to the College of Computer Studies. I know we are all struggling and are facing right now, but I just wanted to tell you that we should keep the faith because everything happens for a reason. If you are struggling or if you are having a hard time, please approach, please approach us and please approach your professors. Do not be afraid to reach out. Let us help each other and we will get through this. I know you will miss a lot as fresh is here in the Dakilang Pamantasan, especially the bench cheering, the palakasan, a lot of acquaintance party, and of course the pasundayan. But I believe that the most important thing right now is our safety. So I hope that everyone is doing fine, healthy, and we will see each other soon. Thank you and God bless. Hashtag Paghutabot. Hello to my fellow computer science students. I really hope that everyone is getting the hang of facing the challenges that COVID-19 has brought on us. I know that everyone is having their online classes already and I also know that some of you are having difficulty catching up to your academic responsibilities especially now that the virus has been going around and has greatly affected our mental and emotional health. As a fellow student, I am not different from you. I want you to know that I am with you. And I want to commend you for having the courage to enroll for this semester, for having the courage to face these challenges and refuse to give up. Be reminded that as a computer science student, we are always to train to look for the solutions to every existing problems. It has been our job to always find the better way. And on that note, dealing with these challenges would be a piece of cake too. So hang in there. To our freshman students who chose this promising course, I would be more than happy to welcome you all. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Computer Science Department and the Computer Science Society officers, we wish you good luck and we are so excited to see what computer science has in store for you. This is Arthur Anthony Navarro, your Computer Science Society Mayor. Thank you. Hi there, Comops! This is Colleen Princess Pipito, your Computer Application Society Mayor. This year brought us a lot, which made us resort to this so-called new normal. We've stayed in our homes longer than usual. We distanced ourselves with the people we treasure the most. Some may have experienced anxieties due to all the negativities. And of course, the stress we have right now due to our online classes. But despite all, they look at the bright side. Let's move forward in achieving our dreams, unlock new opportunities, and explore new boundaries here in the Dakilang Pamantasan. On behalf of the Computer Application Society, I welcome you all, especially the COMAP students in this new school year. Once again, this is the Computer Application Society Mayor, Colleen Princess Pipito. Don't forget to wear your mask, disinfect, and take your vitamins and observe physical distancing. Keep safe, everyone. God bless and see you soon. Bye! Thank you, Society Mayors. At this point of the juncture, let us hear the presentation of the Budget and Finance Committee by Vice Governor Noranusman, as well as the presentation of activities by Mr. Ryan Himongala. Hi, Wolves. Good afternoon. I am Noranusman, still your Budget and Finance Committee head for this new academic year. Now let me show you the annual expense report for the academic year 2019-2020. During our first semester, we will be dealing about a lot of events. Our first event, General Assembly, cost us 3,410 pesos and 90 centavos. Bench shearing, 17,158 pesos and 50 centavos. Strat plan and team building, 2,400 pesos and 95 centavos. Palakasan 2019, 94,087 pesos and 55 centavos. Developer Student Club, or DSC, which was our new event, 
9,214 pesos and 90 centavos. Stop print, which was used during the second semester, 1,300 pesos, for a total of 127,572 and 80 centavos. During the first semester, 656 students were able to pay the 210 pesos assessment fee, a total of 137,760 pesos, deducted by the expenses, a remaining balance of 10,187 pesos and 20 centavos. Let's move to the second semester report. Due to the suspension of classes, only 24 students were able to pay the assessment fee 100 pesos, with no expenses, a remaining balance of 2,400 pesos. Summing up the remaining balance of the two semesters, a total of 12,587 pesos and 20 centavos. Moving forward to the first semester of the academic year 2020-2021, a resolution was made wherein, due to the current situation in which not all students can pay via online methods, the CCSEC will no longer collect an assessment fee during the first semester of the academic year 2020-2021. Thank you, Wolves, and keep safe. Hello, Wolves. Welcome back, and hello freshies, welcome to the pack. I am Ryan P. Himungala, your Cultural and Arts Committee Head for the academic year 2020 to 2021. Alright, I will present to you the series of events and activities for this school year. Starting off with eSports Tournament, the Mobile Legends. So there are only six groups that will be catered, a first-come, first-served basis policy. Each team must have a team representative composed of five participants. The registration date will start on October 7, 2020. The event proper will be happening on the third week of October, October 17 to 19 to be exact. For more details, kindly approach the committee chair for this event. Next is the Guild Webinar Series. If you want to add more to your skill sets and don't get left behind, then join on one of these webinar series that will be happening every Saturday for the month of November. If you have a creative mind and ultimate passion to arts but in a graphical way, then join in this webinar series on graphics that will be happening on November 7, 2020. For those who are interested in robotics and hardware automation, then you are encouraged to join in this webinar series on art Arduino that will be happening on November 14, 2020. If you want to discover the awesomeness of the cyber battlefield, where programming is a chance to defeat the enemies, then join in this webinar series on code that will be happening on November 21, 2020. For those who want to make the best game the world could witness, then you are welcome to join in this webinar series on game development. That will be happening on November 28, 2020. Develop your potential by joining one of these four awesome guilds now. For more information regarding the guilds, kindly approach the Training and Development Committee Head. So that's it. These are the series of events and activities school year. If you have questions regarding the events and activities, you may raise that in the open forum. Thank you. Thank you, officers. In this new online learning we have today, not all of us are able to cope up yet with the situation. 
This is why our CCS Guidance Counselor, as well as our Student Welfare Service Officer, are especially ready to assist you. Help me welcome Ms. Rikit Padate, our Guidance Counselor, and Ms. Krishna Obach, our Student Welfare Officer. A pleasant day to all CCS students. I am Ma'am Kit, your Guidance Counselor. I hope you all guys are settling in to your being online learners. I know that this is a big change for you and it's hard, but I am confident that, that you guys are up for the challenge and I know that you can do this. Just stay positive, stay strong, and stay connected to your friends, classmates, family, and teachers as well. And as your counselor, I'm at your service to help you anytime. You can connect to my email or to my contact number if you have any questions, concerns, or if you just want to check in. You may also follow our guidance Facebook page to see our updated activities prepared for the IIT students. Thank you so much and stay safe. Facebook, YouTube, texting, this is my life. It's how I connect, share funny stuff, and make plans. I go on Facebook every day, but even I've made mistakes, like posting something on someone's wall that I've later regretted. It was funny at the time, right? I mean, who hasn't said something mean, only to have it forwarded to the person we said it about? My friend. He wrote a comment online about a teacher that he thought was really funny. She didn't think it was. He tried to get rid of it, but he found out the hard way that you can't take it back. And whatever we post online can live there a very long time. Believe it or not, a friend of mine was tagged in a picture drinking beer. It actually got her in trouble when she applied for a summer job. So what can we do to protect ourselves and our friends? Well, here are a few simple rules that can keep us safe and smart when we're on online or using our cell phones. First, guard your privacy. What people know about you is up to you. Next, protect your reputation. Think before you post, upload, or send. What's funny or cute today could really embarrass you tomorrow. Nothing is private online. Anything you say or do can be copied, pasted, and sent to gazillions of people without your permission. Assume everyone is watching. So the next time you act at something stupid, just remember that your parents, teachers, and even your enemies will be able to see it. Apply the golden rule. If you don't want something done to you, then don't do it to someone else. What goes around, comes around. Watch the clock. Don't spend all your time looking at a screen. It makes you a boring person. Get a life. Choose wisely. Not everything you see online is good for you. You know what we mean. Don't hide. Using a fake name to say mean things is not cool. Besides, you're never as anonymous as you think. You can always be found out. Think about what you see. Just because it's online doesn't mean it's true. And finally, be smart and safe. Not everyone is who they say they are. So be careful who you tell things to online. Someone could be posing. Remember, there are no secrets online. You should always think before you post or text. It's easy. If you want to do it in person, then don't do it online or on your phone. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Some rules don't make any sense, but these rules do. This is our life, our world, and I want to be able to enjoy all this stuff and not worry about what might come back to haunt me later. The bottom line is that it's really up to us to protect ourselves, our friends, and our reputations. Things we think are funny or cool today can turn around and bite us tomorrow. Besides, this online, it's ours. We're making it up as we go. So why not create a positive world? One where we feel safe from being embarrassed or humiliated. For more tips and really cool stuff, visit us at commonsense.org. <laughs>
So the meaning of SUAS is Students Welfare and Services. So what is the job or unsay ang ay buhaton sa mga SUAS head? So actually, I will be the one to receive your complaints and uh, concerns about the the especially nowadays nga natay pandemic nga giface and then ako ang tig uh, tigtugon sa inyo ha sa inyo ang mga mga pangutana if ever na may gusto ipangutana like com mga complaints and etc so i will be the one to uh, like i will be your mother from this college okay and then um so uh, what else I will be the one to comply as much as I as much as I can. I will be the one to comply your your uh, needs, like for example, uh, financial status. So, pagitaan ako ng pamaagi ng makat makatabang. Tadili ako ang muhatag ha. Dili ako ang muhatag. Kung ako ang mo mo send sa sa head sa ato ang um, university kung unsa man gani problems about ana per dili gid ko maka assure nga mahurot gyud namo nagtabang ana uh, as much as uh, possible or as much as we can then we will do our best about it and then so gusto ko nga maguban ta sa pagpangitag pamaagi uh, to compromise um, with the help of my two secretaries, namely Yumedici de Gracia and Vivian Lulu. They are also my uh, batchmates from uh, com uh, BS Computer Applications. And then, so, tungod ana because of uh, because of the the problem like we are facing right now, especially the pandemic. So, uh, na online class ta so daghan gyud kaayog mga problema, internet, mga unsa pa, uh, gadgets, um sa pamilyain. Like ang place kung di ba siya saba then ang mga uban nga students especially kanong nagpuyo sa mga bukid bukid ingon ana so um, we will also receiving it through um, our um, helpline special helpline which is the swas cares so my concerns about sa inyo ang um, online classes and other things na related sa pagskwela sa IIT um, you can reach us by sending your messages uh, in the uh, through Google Forms, okay? And then we will be launching it very very soon. So magulat hulat lang tan. We will be posting it after nashama launch. So I hope that um, if na mo gusto ipaabot sa ako, then please don't hesitate to message me um, in my Facebook or I have my Gmail. Then you can uh, email me there. And then, um, dili lang ako. Dili lang ako ang mutabang sa inyo. Ah, kauban ako ang mga officers, si Gov, si, si, uh, ang Vice Gov, down to, uh, other undersecretaries. So, mauraman siguro. So, I hope that you will always remember your mother and the, uh, EC officer. So, again, my name is Krishna Angela C. Obach. So, always wear your face mask uh, and face shields if you are going outside, if na kailangan palit ton, and then keep safe, okay? Bye-bye! Thank you, Ms. Rikit and Ms. Krishna. At this point of our program, our Q&A forum is now open.
Okay, so now we have the questions for our open forum. The first seven questions will be directed to our CCS Dean, Dr. Rabi Lavillas. The first question is, if ever wala na si COVID, magsugod da yung taog face-to-face -face na klase? Sir? Okay, can you hear me, Miss Melody? Yes, sir. Okay, the um, question is, face-to-face uh, -face na ba? Of course, expected na siya nga mag-face-to-face. -face. The ideal way of teaching is, para sa ako is face-to-face -face gihapon. And, but somehow, we are very dependent to the advice of LGU and memorandum or um, advice from the Chancellor's Office of MSIIT. But in general, maghulat kita sa advice sa LGU sa ato, akong kanun sa tapwede maka-face-to-face -face class, especially sa laboratory session. Iba na ay mga laboratory na ginahanglang ginunta mo ang isa school, but we will wait for the advice. Kay open ang laboratory until now sa inyo ha, in case pwede na musulod sa iyo. Okay, so okay sir. Okay, sir. For the second question, concerned about <clears throat> technological tools, especially for the third year students, what are the other means of passing the subject? Uh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are at the College of Computer Studies, although it will depend on the subject. If the course requires you to develop a software, well, I get a choice. That's part of the requirements. Maybe we can negotiate with the, te the teacher para sa medyo i-consider lang kung ano may initial output, diba? But definitely, IIT don't want to sacrifice quality. We still want to implement as much as possible the required output of the course. Pero, at least karon na ay gitawag na mo og leniency. This is agreed among deans and faculty members sa IIT na medyo lenient ta karon sa students. Meaning, we may consider it as long as you have shown some competency or ability or skills or knowledge about a certain requirement. But next time, be specific with your question. Uh, pwede ka maka-email or whatever para clarify ni siya kung ano about the technological tools and problems in submitting the course. As I said in my introduction before, uh, unfortunately, na sa College of Computer Studies, our main tool here is computer. Okay, okay thank you, ito? sir. So, students, if na may questions, you can also ask the AC officers so we can relate to the teachers and napangitaan siya pamaagi kung unsa man siya. So, let's proceed to the third question. Is there an online library for the students, sir? Uh, there is an online services sa IIT. I think it can be accessed through offices, library, and services. You can search it in the website of IIT. But for me, as a student before, and a uh, student three years ago, kanang library ka, hindi kayo na siya useful sa ako. Ah. I mean, <laughs> in terms of recency, you can always search. The web has a lot of resources. And you can always find e-books that would help you find uh, online resources in computers, especially that we need to be recent always. But for IIT na support, we have, I think you can download ProQuest and uh, engineering 
engineering uh, access engineering basta engineering related na mga uh, resources na siya sa online so pwede ninyo na siya ma-access na, nakabutang na i think dito ang username and password na magamit ninyo when you log in into that uh, if you avail of that online services sa library but as a student of CCS we expect you to be resourceful in any of the resources sa internet in fact maunhan dapat ninyo ang teacher magpangita of resources about the course. YouTube is a good source also. And if you cannot find some journals or kind of paper or books and you gusto, you can always ask your teacher kung asa makakuha of resources, especially sa research na part or ang inyong advisor. Okay? Okay, thank you, sir. For the next question, I think this is coming from a first year. Young question is, if I had a fail of one, two, or three grades, can I still be in IIT? Mm. There are department mm -mm, there are department policies uh, yeah. sa IT department for instance or majority of the courses pag major gani twice ka mabagsak advice to shift na gyud ang kaana but there are advisors na considerate especially kung naa kay personal reasons so depende na siya in general sa IT if you failed 75% of the grade automatic barred ka ani meaning dili na ka pwede dawaton sa IT if mo fail tag 75% of your course pero pag mabagsak lang kag 50% na mo lessen lang ang imong number of units the next semester ang imong paningkamutan is dapat paspasaron nimo ang majority sa subjects and this is not about counting the number of courses na imong ipasar tanawon pud nimo ang number of units each course for instance sa math five units ni siya. Dili siya equivalent sa tag three units ni mga course. So, ang pag-compute sa 75% is based on uh, kanang credit units for each subject. So, take note to ha, ang common practice sa CCS is twice mabagsak pag math and major subjects, advice to shift na dahil ka. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. For the next question, I think this has something to do with Katong students under category one or two. The question is, does other teachers consider extensions or another chance to those who miss their exam, quiz, or assignments due to power interruptions or city lockdown? Okay, so as I've said, na leniency. Naara ni sa paghangyo. Diba? You mm -hmm. can always inform so, the teacher. Ayaw po paghangyo. Ay, sir, last week, nag-lockdown or nag-brown out last week. Mawa ko kasabi. Ayaw. At that time, nanimbalik ang internet or your connection, you can always inform the teacher. I think open man siguro. So, ang, ang email is pwede gud ka maka-email sa teacher. By default, ang email sa teacher sa IIT, first name, dot, last name, at g, dot, msu, IIT. Uh, general pattern na siya. So, pwede ra gud na siya, hindi mo ma-inform always. Especially kaning quiz po, no? Ang asan na critical ni siya. Pero, na... Uh, although na ima teacher nga stricto pero advice also teachers na may mga teachers na naminaw karon or online karon they are nagita aning leniency meaning pwede na gid mahangyo pero dili pud permitte kay dili na katuohan <laughs> yes, okay i think na answer na po nimo ang next next question sir pero basahon lang gyapon nako para mo ang pero dili nata necessary kay as sir mentioned mura leniency and kailangan makikommunicate ng juta sa ila so for hmm, the last pero, question um, the student stated, um, are the professors advised to exert effort in teaching? Because lately in our online classes, they put bare minimum effort in classes, but put loads of work and assignment when we have limited access to the internet. Wow. Okay. Inani ni siya. There are two ways of employing online learning here. Pwede ni siya teacher-led, pwede po or teach a uh, student led or class led meaning more depend is a pacing sa student as long as they are aware um, aware of the requirements meaning more siya student led ang teacher led magapas ang estudyante sa teacher kay mo nang iyang gusto okay na balance na po yung teacher na na balance between the two uh, ang advice gani ang best advice for emergency nga online classes is that as much as possible you teacher can define the final requirements and the students will cope up with that requirements. Meaning, mas daghan ka activities as a student kaysa sa teacher. Meaning, maghatag assignments sa teacher tapos, ikaw may perform activities ato para dili sigig online. Ano siya, I think, ang strategy. But if majority sa student po sa isa ka teacher is online sila, wala niya siya problema. Nagka-problema lang man niya tungod kay 
uh, listed ang connections sa uban. That's the reason nga uh, there, there are activities na i-assign lang sa inyo. Remember, ang teacher nag-try to comply po sa example, you are supposed to be learning 54 hours per subject. So required din siya dapat. Akong advice is uh, naamantay consultation time. So with, the, with the teacher. So pwede ka mag-email always. Anna. Pero yung ano siya, <clears throat> you must encourage adult learner, especially kung third year or fourth year na ka, mag-practice yung ka self-paced learning na ikaw ang magtuon para sa subject as long as you know the objective of the course. This is very important for college life. We try to be independent learners. Remember sa technology, paspas kaya ang technology nga pag-graduate ninyo, obsolete na din ka. So required yun ka nga mag-learn on your own. When I gina-encourage aning a time, especially karon na time, um, ang teacher ni mo is there to ensure kung tama ang direction ni mo. But Ang learning to doko, ang learning yun sa a specific technology, a partly responsibility yun as a student. The teacher is there to ensure na correct ang inyong ginabuhan. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, gamay kang mayroon tag time. Sir, na ay pahabol ka rin na question, sir, ba? I think sa live ni Shagikan, last ni na question na directed sa inyo, ano siya nga? Sir, pwede ipaklear kung saan na section ang gi-enrollan kay na mali ako ah. I think na mali iya sa mole. Kung sir, pwede na mabuhat, ano, sir? Ang sa to? O trahat ang question, ma'am? Ano siya, sir? Pwede ipaklear kung sana section ang gi-enrollan kay na mali ako, ah. Ah, so naanin siya sa yung CUR. The best way is to email your advisor. Kung kung saan siya, mapag-change. Wala na yung adding and withdraw ka ron. Pero ito i-verify na ito kung asa siya na-enroll. Ano lang, I think. Okay, sir. I hope na best to siya. Uh, I mean, correct. Uh, ang best way is to email your advisor. Kaya ang advisor din ang nakabaluan yung sana yung concern. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Those are all of the questions directed to Sir Rabi Labil, yes. The next question is directed to our computer science mayor, Mr. Navarro. What activities are scheduled to be held for this semester? I think the, there is a technical difficulty as of the moment. So those are all the questions that we are we entertained in our open forum. So now let's proceed to our Q&A game after the orientation because I check now if you have a mo. Oh, I think Mr. Navarro is fine now. So I'll Hello? just go back to the question. Um. The question is, what activities are scheduled to be held for this semester? Uh, so, so far, ang wala pa joy uh, activities na na meeting ang mga societies ron. So, as of now is, ang ang tanan societies manata is wala joy event pa karon kay uh, listed mong put good ang ang um, process ana. So, Ang, ang events na siguro ron kay Margato lang sa uh, EC, mutabang ra sa EC ang mga societies of ang mga ito. Okay, thank you Mr. Navarro. Our second to the last question is directed to our computer applications mayor. Ms. Pepito, what is the real batching of subjects? Hey, can you hear me, Melody? Yes, yes, I can hear you clearly. So, regarding the batching of the subjects, actually, we try sa among ang chairman as well as the faculty na ibay batch jud ang koan ang C ang C A namut na majors. But then, when they tried mangko nga ibat ibatching cha, lisod ka ayo apason kay knowing nga na lecture plus na pa siya laboratories so it will be a koan it will be a hard time for the teachers and as well as the students na na maapas bitaw ang subject basta ibatching so that's why ang kadaghanan sa majors sa CA is mura siya gi-follow ang katong original nga schedule and then ang katong minors mao ang na-follow sa koan sa batching Miss, okay. may hindi kang i-add to that? Ah, yes, sir. Sure, sir. 
Uh, because batching of the courses is concerned, uh, the concern of the uh, chairperson and the dean. Uh, actually, majority of the courses sa CCS, but not all, ang advice yun mo, all subjects with laboratory will, will not follow the batching. Yes, so, meaning, ang nai-batch katulang pure lecture. Diba? Ang katulang nai-lab, automatic to siya, nga mo follow lang sa regular schedule. Kaya na siya dapat ang clear. Okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Pipito. For our next question, this is directed for JITS Mayor. What awaits for us given with the current situation? Sir Jaro? <laughs> Mr. Jaro? Hello, yes. Mel. Yes, hello. Uh, the question is oh, so what awaits for us given with the current situation? I think about so the Okay, thank you, Mel. So if you are asking about the activities for the society for now, wala pa yun tayong mga activities tungod kay tungod sa itong situation. And then, um, it's very hard to conduct activities karon nga time because dili tanan students maka-access o internet. So for now, um, focus lang sa mo sa inyong mga mga subjects, dili lang sa mga magdugang-dugang o ng mga huna-hunaon. So, for now, wala lang sa, pero huwag na, ah, mag-update lang ni. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jaro. Um, we have a last question directed to Ma'am Sirikit. Ma'am, are you there? The question is, if na ah, may problem, on saon pagduol sa guidance? Ma'am? Um, hello, good afternoon. Um, uh -oh. um, if ever man gani uh, na sila problems, pwede ra sila mo email na ako or uh, mo text sila atong number nga akong gishare. Moment to akong number nga wor for work code. So pwede ra sila mo, mo email or mo text. No? Or pwede po sila mag message sa guidance nga website. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I hope na address to siya sa student, no? Kung saan pag-approach si ma'am, if na may questions or na may clarifications or if need ni Jug help. So, that concludes our open forum session. As promised, we will have our Q&A game with a prize of 50 pesos load. Um, there will be seven questions and a total of 10 lucky winners for today. Remember, after re I read the question, the person who will have the first correct comment is the answer. So... Are you guys ready? Okay, reminder lang ha, all of the questions should be answered. I mean, all of the questions na related for sa names betaw, kay should be answered by first and last name. So, dili mi mo dawat if first name lang, and if last name lang, dili should. So, it should be both. Okay, so for our first question, we'll pick two winners. The first question is, who is our college dean? Again, who is our college dean? Okay, so hinahina ilang ta sa comment. Next question. Still, we'll pick two winners for this for this question. What are the courses offered in the College of Computer Studies? Again, what are the courses offered in College of Computer Studies? For the third question, we'll pick one winner only. The third question is, who is our computer applications department chairperson? Again, who is our computer applications department chairperson? Remember, it should be first and last name para ma-appeal mo. If otherwise, if delete, then delete mo, ma-count it even though if kamo ang first ga comment, okay? So, for the fourth question, still, we'll pick one winner. Who is our computer science department chairperson? Again, who is our computer science department chairperson? Okay, so for the fifth question, I think my guess na ninyo, who is our information technology department chairperson? Again, who is our 
Information Technology Department person. For the sixth question, we'll pick two winners, okay? So, the question is, dili ko sure if kabalo mga first year ani, pero mas advantage ni siya if mga second year, third year, or fourth year. So, the sixth question is, how old is MSU IIT this year? How old is MSU IIT this year? Okay, so for our last question, we'll pick one winner for this. Charog Lili, pag niyo maansiran, ha? Who is our CCS governor? Again, who is our CCS governor? Padayon lang sa pag-comment sa pag-answer. Okay, after this, our officers will contact the winners later so you could claim your prizes. Thank you, CCS students. Finally, let's hear the message of our Vice Governor Nathanisman for those remarks. Hi Wolves! Hi Freshies! I am Naran Usman, your CCS Vice Governor for this new academic year 2020-2021. So a lot of messages were heard today and I hope that as time passes learning in the Dakilang Pamantasan, these messages will be remembered by our hearts and by our minds. So for this time, let me thank all the resource speakers for this afternoon. Starting with our college dean, Dr. Rabi Laviles, to our chairpersons, Ma'am Adlaon from Computer Applications Department, Ma'am Tabanao from Computer Science Department, and Ma'am Katindig from Information Technology Department. Big gratitude for all of you for sparing your time, uh, motivating and inspiring us students for this new academic year. I would also like to thank our EC advisor, Ma'am Febro, for guiding the team. And thank you also to our Madasigo Society Mayors, Kulin from ComApps, Kuya Arthur from ComSoc, and Mboy from JITS. To my co-officers who gave their messages and participated in this event. From the Dokyo Committee, headed by Phoenix, Literary by Junel, and our MC, Melody, for giving your time and effort in making this event possible. So when times get rough, uh, do not forget to ask for help to your classmates, professors, seniors, our guidance counselor, and to God the Almighty. Together we can get through this and soon we will meet physically. Once again, I welcome you all to the College of Computer Studies and to the Kilang Pamantasan. Take care and keep safe. Pagot hawud. Thank you, Vice Gov. All right, so that concludes this year's online freshman orientation and general assembly. In behalf of the CCS Executive Council, it's our pleasure to serve you. Once again, this is Melody. Thank you, CCS, and good afternoon.